watching the Falcons' veteran quarterback. As he's moved past 3,000 yards passing for the year and looking for more, it's the Falcons and the Ravens, and it's coming right up on EA Sports. Some might say it's cold, others, like myself and my partner, say this is football weather as we welcome you to chilly M&T Bank Stadium near the Inner Harbor in Baltimore. Coming up, we've got a good matchup on tap between the Atlanta Falcons and the Baltimore Ravens. Brandon Gunn alongside Charles Davis. CD, you look at the Ravens in this matchup. Now, this is a crew that has not lacked confidence as they outpace teams across the NFL. season leading them out he's got more rushing touchdowns than any quarterback in NFL history Cam Newton and I thought it's a really nice performance last week by him three touchdown passes I think that signifies exactly what he was getting done he did have the one interception but that's the ratio you say you're okay with right? if you go three to one you're going to be pretty happy over the course of the season and let's face it he'll never blame the receiver publicly but behind closed doors <laughs> he probably told his agent hey what's the deal I should have had a perfect game Call it no gain on the game's first play. And it's second down now. Christmas Eve here in 2022. A big slate today of Saturday games. But we will have, ready for this, a triple header of action on Christmas Day tomorrow. I think it's pretty safe to say we won't have a white Christmas in any of these places, however. We start with the Packers and Dolphins in Miami at 1 Eastern. Then you got the Broncos and Rams from Los Angeles. And then finally, the Bucks and Cardinals at 820 Eastern in the desert. So one more for good measure on Monday. Once the family's all gone back home and Grandma's puttered out of the house, grab the leftovers and sit back and watch the Chargers and the Colts from Indianapolis. 40 yards on the punt, two on the return, and the Ravens, they'll take over. So out comes this offense to take over for the first time. Leading them out, the third-year player from Oklahoma by way of Alabama, Jalen Hurts. And no excitement, unless, the, unless you're on the defensive team of last week, in his numbers. Because the only excitement he really generated was the one interception he threw. Yeah, no touchdown pass. Yeah, and his team wasn't real thrilled about that. And they lost the game. So, I know this week has been tough on him because he's been working hard. Fundamentals, footwork, finding the right targets. And bottom line, how do they get a win? A first carry for Najee Harris. A short gain here, maybe a yard to the 29. Throwing from the gun, it's Hurts. Buying time to his left. It's a gain of six, but not enough, as he'll be forced to punt on their first drive of the game. No surprise to see him running again here. It's something he's done throughout this season. And that run puts him over 500 yards on the ground for the year. He's got to be thinking to himself, if I'm already at 500, what's to stop me from going for 1,000? It's a 43-yard punt, a return of five, and the Falcons will be taking over first and 10. So for the second time in this one, we get set to see the Falcons' offense. The crowd may be losing just a little bit of the edge after back-to-back -back punts. They want some big plays. They want to see some offense. They want to see somebody break away, whether it's through the air or on the ground. Now it'll be interesting to see where the patience is on both sides. Each head coach, can you hang in there and not try to pull something that could put your team in some jeopardy? He's certainly one of those quarterbacks that can burn you with his mobility, but that time able to hem him in and get him to the ground. Perfect descriptor right there about how they kept him in the pocket. Excellent job of containment, but they were still able to continue to bring such strong pressure without letting him escape. 
but how about those guys in the secondary as well? Kept the coverage tight, plastered to the receivers, and left no real options for him to throw it downfield. And not much doing there. Maybe a yard up to the 23. The threat of a second straight punt to start the game is looming as they come up third and 10. Here's Newton. And he fires one that's intercepted. Picked up by J.C. Jackson. And the Ravens are going to take possession of the football. And I think this is a situation where a quarterback coach on the sideline is going to talk to a signal caller and say, listen, it's third and long and it's still early in the game. Let's not force things here. If we don't feel good about it, let's just check something down and pump the football. Now a first down carry for Harris. And he is going to lose yardage here. A loss of a yard there to start out. That leads to a second and 11. And they run with Harris off the option. And he is met in his tracks behind the line of scrimmage. It'll go as a loss of a yard, so now they deal with third and 11. This defense is a difficult one to prepare for, one of the best in the league. They'll come at you from all angles, and they did a nice job there stopping him for a loss. So time to start going in the other direction as they come up now third and long. Hurts sets up to throw it. And the Falcons get there. The Falcons get the sack. Down he goes. So look at this. Here's the field goal unit coming out. And he is going to need to bomb this one. And that is no good. Oh, he missed it just wide of the upright. And this will remain a scoreless game. Well, this winds up an empty possession. Everything looked okay. He just never got the ball on target. And knowing him, he'll be disappointed with that effort. Two sides to every coin. This is the bad side of missing the 58-yarder. Now they start at the 48. And great blocking downfield as he's got this almost to the 35-yard line. It's a gain of 13 and a first down for Atlanta. That's a very nice game there. A confidence-building run. Love the execution up front. And the way he pressed the hole, absolutely perfect. So from the 36 now, first and 10. Newton now to throw. And it's hauled in by Jared Cook. And they'll work this down inside the 30. Pretty darn good, as you see right there on your screen. I'll echo that. Darn good. Two touchdowns, right? And the ability to be in sync with each other, right? To understand that he's going to be where the quarterback expects him to be when the ball is thrown. Six yards to pick up, and that's a first down. Nice job there finding room to maneuver, and he worked his way into another first down. And look, they had great field position to start, but boy, they've done a nice job taking advantage of it. Now they're just hoping to cap it off. Clock rolling as we hit the midway point of this first quarter. On first down, Newton. And he takes it down to the 10-yard line. A nifty bit of scrambling there. 12 yards, first down. So an instance there of Cam being Cam. We know he can use his legs. And with that big body, it's hard to get him down, even if you get a clear shot on him. Plus, he moves it a lot faster than what people think. And boy, does he have fun playing the game of football. So not quite a first and goal. It's first and 10 from the 10. Here's Newton. And he slides and covers up at the end as he's going to be able to pick up decent yardage. On second down, Davis. And he will fight his way into the end zone for a Falcon touchdown. Mike Davis with his fourth rushing touchdown of the year. And the Falcons are on the board first on the road here in Baltimore. Two able to connect on the extra point, and that makes the score 7-0. Following the touchdown, here's Koo to kick off. This fielded right at the goal line. 
And tackled at the 21-yard line, so a net negative there of four yards. And now Baltimore gets set to take the field. You know, Charles, season winding down, time to maybe look ahead to the offseason. What do you see these guys going after, either in the draft or free agency? Well, with the season that they're having, just about every position is up for grabs right now. No one is really safe, but the focal point's always the quarterback position. And he may be auditioning to try and stay with his own current team. I think he's auditioning for the rest of the league to try and find a spot because I think this team is looking for a new quarterback. And he will lose yardage and be backed up to the 24. And for the Falcons, five men in the secondary, now on third. Here's Hurts to throw. And that is incomplete. On fourth down, Joseph Charlton on to punt. 46 on his first kick. This one in that neighborhood as well. Fair catch called for and taken right near the 30-yard line. A 41-yard punt there with no return. And it will be Falcon football. Veteran back Mike Davis leading this offense back onto the field. A thousand yard campaign in his sights, Charles, but needs a little bit of a kick here down the stretch to reach it. And sometimes at this stage of the season, you're looking for that extra goal, right? That extra motivation to accomplish what you touchdown. Deshaun Jackson, his fifth touchdown now on the year. And the Falcons are able to strike quickly to add on to their lead. Extra point by Koo, up and good. And it's now 14 to nothing. They certainly made quick work of that, ultra quick work. One of the fastest drives you'll ever see. Just one play resulting in the touchdown. This will be fielded inside the five. And able to get this across the 20, but not much further as he's dropped at the 23-yard line. The offense for the Ravens returns to the field. Still in the first half, but this offense has struggled. Haven't really been able to get anything going, not only in the points category, but in the yards category. Let's we'll see if they can do better here on this drive. Now a pause, and there's an injured Raven in need of some assistance. The run got four. Now they deal with a second and six. Hurts. The quick throw knocked away. It's incomplete. So after the second down incompletion, they'll come up now against a third and six. Throwing his hurts. He'll get this to his tight end, Gesicki. Two yards on the pickup there. And that'll bring up fourth down. And Joseph Charlton on now to punt. And he's getting a workout here in this first quarter as he gets it away. Oh, a heck of a oh, move. Man. A 46-yard boot, but just 36 following a pretty decent return of 10 yards. And it will be first and 10 as they take over. Atlanta regains possession of the football. Well, partner, you know, coaches always say that every play is designed to score a touchdown. Sometimes that's not really true, but last drive, that was the case. One play to get into the end zone, and now they'll try to duplicate that success here. And it's rare for those moments to happen. Incredible when they do. And you saw the celebration. Pure, unbridled joy after that one. It's brought in by Adam Humphreys. And they bring him to the ground just shy of midfield. His first catch of the game, good for 11 and a first down. But one of the ways the quarterbacks keep all the receivers alive in a play, never lock in on any one guy. Make sure you keep your eyes moving, scan the field, and here he finds the open guy for a nice pickup. And he's tackled a yard short of the marker. Good gain of nine on first down. Now a play fake, and it's Newton. And he's going to have to eat this one as down he goes. The former third overall pick, Quinn Williams there to bring him down. And this is a quarterback who's already had success on the ground in this first half, but this time they're able to hem him in. And it's always different when you rush a mobile quarterback as opposed to a guy you know will be right back in the pocket. In this case, you got to make sure the inside pressure and the outside pressure match and maybe even a second wave to make sure if he squirts free, you've got someone to tackle him. Yeah. 
Now Newton on first down. Over the middle, it's Jared Cook. Big strides, look at him go. Touchdown, Falcons. Jared Cook, 41 yards. And the Falcons take a three-touchdown lead. Boy, still in the first quarter, and look out. I mean, they are on pace for over 80 points in this game. I don't know that they'll get there, CD, but this has been impressive to watch so far. That certainly would be history in the making, wouldn't it, partner? I'm glad we're here to actually watch and see if it actually happens, although, like you, I have my doubts, but they are firmly in control of this game. Koo able to connect on the extra point, and that makes the score 21 to zip. So how about this for a start? 21-0 here in the first as they kick this one away. Taking it at about the one. Ashton Doolin now to return. And no alley to be found. The coverage was solid, and he's dropped at the 18. Ravens offense getting set and ready for this next drive. Well, CD, you kind of feel like they're in a bit of a danger zone right here because now you're down three scores, and I know we're in the first half, but the way this offense hasn't been able to generate anything, you feel like they probably need to get something going on this drive, right? Yeah, and sometimes I overuse that this is an important possession, but I think this has to be the possession where they come up with an answer because only a few teams in league history have ever come back from a four-score deficit, and if they don't score here, that's what they could be facing the next time they get the ball. On second down, this is Harris. And he's corralled at the 40, but not before picking up eight. 21 0 our score after one. Second quarter now from Baltimore. It's the Ravens in possession. The offense on third down tonight, not good. 0 for 4 thus far. They're looking at third and a few inches. Throw right side of the tight end of Shaughnessy. And he'll go out of bounds, it appears, right at the 45. First catch for him on the afternoon, and it results in a first down. Harris running straight ahead. And he'll fight forward on the straight-ahead running for just a couple of yards, second down. Throwing on second and eight, Hurts. That's complete to his tight end, Mike Gesicki. And he'll be tackled on the other side of midfield at the 46-yard line. They'll try and pick it up by running the option to the right. Holding. And this third down looking very tough after the holding penalty. Third and long. Now a shotgun snap as they'll look to throw. And able to find Gesicki as tight end. And that's going to be good for another first down as the tackle's made at the Falcons 28. They'll look to throw. Setting up the screen, Harris. And he went nowhere. Well, he went backwards, back to the 33. So after a rare misstep on this drive, they'll try to make amends on second and 15. Back to throw again. And he drops it incomplete. And their struggles continue here. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. And he can't find a receiver, and he's brought down. Calais Campbell finding his way home for the sack. And this kick is not going to be close. It's well short, well right to boot, and this will stay a three-touchdown game. And any time you see a kicker trot out to try one for 56 yards, you know everything's got to come off perfectly for it to have a chance. If the laces aren't quite right, if he doesn't hit the fat part of the ball just right, it's unlikely to go through, and that one winds up no good. And no room that time, getting it to about the 46. The run only got a yard. Here's second and nine. Newton to throw. 
They'll set up the screen with Davis. They'll be taken down at the 48 for a pickup of two yards. They'll be in search of eight yards here as they hope to convert the first down. Throwing on third down, Newton. And he'll protect himself at the end here as he winds up getting pretty decent yardage. And this is off target to the left. Didn't get there anyway. It's no good. And the lead will hold at three touchdowns. That would have been from way downtown. Pretty big roll of the dice, and he comes up a bit short. Yeah, you knew when you saw the holder setting up on the other side of the 50 <laughs> that this was going to be a long shot. But to me, there's really no loss here because you've shown confidence in him kicking it from a long distance. That'll pay dividends. And the miss, you can shake that one off. It wasn't likely to make it in the first place. Hurt's going to keep it again. And a good-looking run there as he'll take this inside the 20 and down to the 18-yard line. This offense finding its legs now. Here's another first and 10. From the red zone now, they'll look to throw. Over the middle into traffic, and that's complete. And the Ravens are going to be set up with a first and goal coming up as they get him down at the six-yard line. They hand this off to Harris. He gets up a little bit closer. He takes it from the six inside the five to the four. On second and goal, here's the option. And this is going to result in losing yardage. They're driven back to the eight-yard line. Big play coming here. It's third and goal. From the gun, it's Hurts. And he can't find anywhere to go with it. And he goes down. Cade York on now for the field goal. This is a 33-yard attempt. York able to send this one through, and the deficit drops now from 21 down to 18. So they do come up with their first points of the game, but Charles, the question is going to shift to their defense. Yeah, the way things have gone, three points could become insignificant fast if this grows to 28 to three or 35 to three. They need this defense to come up with a stop, and they need to do it now. And he'll be brought down right on the chalk of the 20. Atlanta now coming out on the field. Yeah, they've got to be a little bit frustrated about that last drive. Missed field goal. Always hurts a team because, you know, you've put something out there. You've given yourself a chance. You're in range, and the ball doesn't go through the post. But it's not something to panic about, I don't believe. Just keep playing and keep going. So from the 36 now, first and 10. Inside give to Davis. And nothing much materializing there on the first down run. He'll get a couple, and that's it. Off play action. Newton. Toward the sideline, and look at that catch. Dragging the toes, and that's going to be a first down. Well done. A nice pick up there, 10 yards. That was a route run not just with dexterity, but with intelligence. Found the hole in the zone, made sure the quarterback saw him, and was able to make the sure catch and flip the down marker back to one. He'll hit Jackson complete. And he'll be brought down inside the 40-yard line. Good strong throw and catch right there. And so far in this game, the alleys have been open for them to get completions, and they're taking advantage of it. Newton on first down. Completes it to Austin. And he'll be hauled down at about the 30-yard line. They'll run with Austin. And he's able to work his way down inside the red zone to the 19-yard line. 12 yards is the pickup. Good for a first down for the Falcons. First 
They keep it on the ground. This time it's Davis. And he'll get him inside the 15 down to the 14-yard line. The first down run got five. Here's second and five. Now Newton. Throwing middle, and it's complete. And the Falcons are going to have a first and goal as he'll be taken down at the seven-yard line. Now Newton. This is caught. Touchdown! Cam Newton with his third touchdown pass of this first half. And the Falcons are able to widen their lead here in this first half. Extra point by Koo, up and good. And the route is on here in this first half. That time, a nine-play drive. And the Falcons score to cap it off. And it'll come out to the 25 as he will not attempt to return. Now this offense back out and set to go for their next drive. And last time able to get three. It's not what they wanted. They wanted six, but they got at least something. They mustered something out of the drive. They'll take it. Just I, I like the way you, you described it. Not ideal, but they'll take it. Anything to put some points on the board. But this time on offense, they don't even want to see the field goal kicker trot on the field. They want that ball in the end zone. Yeah, they'll be going for six. Now he's going to swing this one out to his running back. Only a yard there. Sniffed out well defensively, and it brings up third. Well, speed is definitely a calling card if you play cornerback in this league, and he does a terrific job there of hustling in quickly to make the play. And I think really good defenders can sniff out those screen passes, just something that they can feel, something that they can sense about how the quarterback drops back or how the linemen are just a little slow to block the oncoming rushers. He read it perfectly, got in there, and made the play. And the next-gen stats tell the story as he was traveling at better than 19 miles an hour. Hurt sets up to throw it. He rifles one that's intercepted. Picked off by Buster Screen. And the Falcons are going to take possession of the football. Partner, I think this will want to ride very simply because he overestimated his arm strength and his ability to fit it anywhere he wants to. A lot of quarterbacks do that and often pay the price. So first and 10 now from the 30. Now following the interception, here's Newton. Sideline throw, it's complete. And a nice job there of keeping the toes inbounds. Let's make this one simple. What a catch, especially the finishing part of getting his feet inbounds, toe tapping, and of course, foot dragging. A little tapestry, if you will. Oh, I like it. Looking to throw again on second down. Newton, that's caught. He gets it out to Austin. Then he is out of bounds right around the 10-yard line. 12 yards there and a first down. Let's just call it what it is. This has been a flat-out struggle for this defense all game long. They've really had a hard time slowing them down. And while I'm not big on speeches and guys jumping up and down, they might need their team leader on defense to get in their face right now. Fire these guys. They got to start playing better assignment football and start getting guys on the ground. From the five, second and four. Throwing again is Newton. And they're into the end zone, but it's not verified yet. Hold on, there is a flag down. Holding, offense. Joel Batonio, one of the steals of the 14 draft, the culprit there. Here's Newton. He finds Austin complete. And able to break one tackle, but then quickly brought down. But a nice little game. The Falcons going to use the second of their timeouts as they'll stop it with just over a minute to go before halftime. The Ravens bring out an extra defensive back here on third. To throw is Newton. And that is caught. Touchdown, Falcons. Four touchdown passes now for Cam Newton. And the Falcons will extend their lead in the final minute of the half. Two able to connect on the extra point. And the route is on here in this first half. Ball. 
Following the touchdown, here's Koo to kick off. This taken in at the goal line. And he's up past the 20 to the 22-yard line. The Raven offense going to take over late in this first half. And with a little under a minute remaining, they may try to put something together here just to try to cut into that deficit. Trying to shake off the interception from the last drive. He'll look to throw. Complete to Zacchaeus. And the result here, a pickup of eight. Leaves him with two to go on second down. Now the Ravens going to use one of their timeouts to throw again on second down. Hurts being chased out left. And he gets this up across the 35 before he's out of bounds. Line of scrimmage, the 37 on first and 10. Hurts. He gets it left side of Johnson. Now another timeout called for by the offense as they'll stop him with a little over 30 seconds to go in the first half of play. Throwing again on second down. Hurts. And that falls to the ground incomplete. A nice job of bodying him up defensively. And now it brings up third down. Here's Hurts to throw. And he's caught on the sideline, but he's not going to have a first down. They say he was out of bounds. So a big call there. That brings up fourth. And on is the punter Charlton now as he's able to get this one away. And the fair catch is taken at about the 13-yard line here. Deshaun Jackson getting set to go again on offense. He's the star wide receiver, and he's doing his thing so far here into the second quarter. And how you get distinguished as a star is each and every week performing to a high level no matter what they throw at you because you're always wanting to take him out of the game if you're a defensive team. How do you press him, double him, triple him, all those things. But the best players show up each and every week, solid games and some spectacular ones. And he has showed up time and time again. So we've reached halftime here. Let's throw in a broadcaster cliche, shall we? Both teams look